Unit 7, question number 4. Question number 4 wants us to find the coordinate of a vertex, okay? So, to you to find vertex without vertex form, we can use a formula. That formula is x is equal to negative b over 2a. So, again, that formula is x is equal negative b over 2a. And you're probably wondering, what are these a's and b's that we talk about? Well, the standard form for quadratic, all right, get, um, tells me that the number in front right here, that leading coefficient, that negative 5, is my a. The negative 20 is my b, and the negative 40 is my c, all right? So, at times, I'll set this up like negative 1 parentheses over 2 parentheses, all right? So, now we're going to go ahead and plug in our a and b. So my b is negative 20, and my a is negative 5, all right? So now we're going to go ahead and calculate. Negative 1 times negative 20 is positive 20. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. 20 divided by negative 10 is negative 2, all right? So my x value of my vertex is negative 2. So I can already write a coordinate, parentheses, Negative 2 is that x value. So since I know x, now I need to find y. To find y, all I have to do is plug back in this number into my equation right here. So let's go and let's find y. So to find y, I'm going to, repla I'm going to rewrite this equation, and I'm going to replace x with a parenthesis. And what do you think is going to go inside of that parenthesis? Yup the negative 2. So again, the negative 2 will go inside of both of these parentheses, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and calculate. So you can use a calculator, but I'm, gonna not tr I'm not going to use a calculator, all right? So negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Negative 20 times negative 2 is positive 40. The negative 40, you bring it down. So when I calculate all of these, this 40 minus 40 is 0, so my answer for y is negative 20. So again, the y is negative 20. So I just put my y right here. And this is my answer, so you have to put the parentheses, all right? So let's try to do it for the next one, okay? So again, we're going to use that same formula, x equal negative b over 2a. Again, this formula is actually the formula for axis of symmetry. But because we're plugging it back in, that's what you, we use to help us to find the vertex. Okay? So, again, guys, this is the setup. And you're probably wondering, what are the A, B, and C? Because this equation does not look like this equation. Well, technically, in front of this x squared is a 1. All right? That is your A. All right? And if you guys see, we have an x squared, but something is missing. The x is missing. So I'm going to have to put something there as a placeholder. So again, what I could put there as a placeholder, so again, we have x squared. I could put 0x as a placeholder, all right? Because we have no x's, 0x could hold the place. So again, in front of here is a 1. That is your a. The 0 is your B, and the not, negative 9 is your C. Make sure you pay attention to that, okay? So, again, guys, let's go ahead and plug them in. So, at times, I'll set it up like negative parentheses over 2 parentheses. And, again, in front of here is a negative, yup, 1. So, let's go and let's plug in some numbers. So, if I plug in 0 for B, and if I plug in A for 1, all right, I will now need to calculate Negative 1 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 0 divided by anything is 0. So your x value of your vertex is 0. So again, that's the x value of my vertex. Now I need to find the y value. So again, now I need to find that y value. Okay? To find that y value, I'm going to rewrite the equation that I'm given. And I'm going to replace x with a pair of parentheses. And what do you think is going to go inside of the parentheses? Yup, 
zero, okay? So you can use a calculator. I'm not going to use a calculator because I'm like that, okay? You can do the same. Zero squared is zero, all right? And then zero times one is zero. Negative nine, you bring it down. Zero minus nine is negative nine. So the y value of my vertex is negative nine. So my answer is zero, negative nine, okay? Good luck, guys.